Hey everyone, this is Airplane Kid 95 my very first video on my airplane hobby. I'm going to take a history lesson about air hogs. And air hogs you probably already know as that toy RC airplane line that has these Havoc helicopters, the mini storm launchers, and other types of little micro-sized airplanes. But they didn't start out that way at first. They started out pioneering the very first of of in, uh, innovations that airplanes could be motorized on, or even cars in that matter. This is what they actually came out with. An air pressured airplane. This is the original Air Hog name. You know, this is one of the original ones that came out, but this is an older version that was advertisement for the Fantastic Four movie back in uh, 2004, I believe. It has a very nice air intake engine with the whole body as the air tank. And the motor is in here. Right there. But, you know, they made micro versions too. Here's their other version. The Accelerator Blue Sky. Their last air pressure model they ever made. I can rev up the engine for you. Just to have a little taste. The motor sounds just like a gas motor. That's the one cool thing about these motors. You can't even tell the difference between this air motor and a gas motor. Here we go. See, the motor runs for a pretty long time until it finally start, starts stuttering, like I am. And they came out, plus the pump that came with it oh, is also made for these little airplanes. Here's the pump. Standard little pump with a little hose on the end of it, like so, and you place it in that hole, that hole right there, and you pump it at least about 30 times, and the, the air tank itself will start whistling, and the whistling means it's starting to get full, but at least 30 times the pitch of the noise, the whistle gets a little bit deeper, until it it's actually not enough. No. Don't pump it too much times or else it may blow up. It's the problem with these airplanes. Or if you keep them in storage with the air still inside of the airplane, it can also destroy the engine. But these aren't remote control. These are more of a free flight um, type model. They actually came out with one of these airplanes called the... Uh, Sky Shark back in 1998 it was their very first model airplane they ever made that as an air pressure engine. They showed it with Regis and Kathy Lee back in those days, and people thought it was a joke. But in fact, it worked well. I mean, these people were very great on on this new invention that they created, and this could be a new energy of the future. Of course, Sky Shark had problems as, as well. Like the plane will fly away because you know it's not remote control. Any none of these are remote control in that manner. Or like it hurts somebody. But you know, I don't know if there's any lawsuits on that part. I mean, these props on these planes do pack a punch if they hit you. I got cut a lot on these things. I don't fly these anymore because they're not like history pieces to me as Air Hogs no longer makes these air types of airplanes as they're now strictly 
in the um, remote control toy airplane market with like the Havoc Heli model or the mini storm launchers, um, the Switchblade, and even the, even the new one that came out, um, like the Sharpshooter, any other of those any airplanes that you see at Target and Toys R Us today. Well, that's it for you, everybody. I hope you liked this history lesson on Air Hogs RC. But came out with this back then. Air Hog, literally. It hogs air to make it run. See you guys in a little bit. Subscribe.